morning, and you think of a better way to spend that last quarter? I don't know. That's when the time to think. Wait a minute. Hey, little young man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very nice day. Very nice day. Uh, uh, my name is Whitney. Uh, uh, Vanderbilt Whitney. Yours? My name is Delvin. Delvin Lee. Glad to know you. Sir. Oh, and I'm glad to know you, too. Sir. Yes, very glad to know you. <laughs> you know, it makes me very proud to be a young man like you. It certainly does. <laughs> you know, when I saw you over here, I told my contemporary, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Green, over there, I said, now there's a young man in the business that's going crazy. But I only work here. And uh, when I said that, you said, who? I only work here. You mean uh, you don't own this business? That's right. Oh. Uh, the proprietor is not in just now. But maybe I can help you. Okay, Sonny. The only way you can help me is direct me and Mind over here where we can get a room. Well, now, let me see. Uh, money, so he just got in town, and what he needs not anything else. Is it please? Uh, and he too. It must be nothing. You might be able to loan down to my girlfriend. Lord. Ah, now, if you just bad then? No. Oh, I, I almost forgot about that. I, I think I got a quarter right here in my pocket. I don't like to break these bills. I'll just get a quarter. We got to this thing. Yeah, it is. Thank you. I'll see you later. Hey, what day home? Oh. That is.
That's the ball with the flowers, baby. I'll go and see. I'll be right back. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, may we come in? What's your status? We're not salesmen, madam. We are gentlemen of the first order. My name is Christian, Mr. Vanderbilt Christian, and this is my contemporary, Mr. Green. Well, you may as well come in. Yes, I'm bragging about it. Oh, uh, you know, a young man named Jefferson told us that you might have a spare room and uh, we might occupy it. Yes, I know Jefferson very well. And uh, I do have a spare room. But I, I've never had room before. And I really wouldn't know what to charge you for me to say. Well, now, you can't Well, Jefferson of you will get a nice happy supper. He's taking my daughter to hear this. Ah, the theater. The very mystery of the name warms the tongues of my heart. Yes. Are you a gentleman for the theater? Are you actor? Actor? Oh, madam. The word actor is a vulgar name of our chosen profession. We are sisters. We are the backbone of the theater. Then perhaps we give my daughter to that. Oh, she goes to the theater tomorrow. She's free enough to win, I know. But you see, she's never been on the stage before. And it doesn't always show her how to act. Uh, Mr. Whitney, I... Well, now, Mrs. Holliday, the gods of luck have frowned most favorably upon you this year. Watch this. You there, slavey, go into the palace and tell Caesar I'm here. Tell him I come not to praise him. Don't send my wife home to cook my supper. I will slay him. That's true, Zuzu. A box, be gone. Ah, oh, there you are, my sweet. I waited so long without you. Come, let us go and prepare the feast. How was that? Oh, Mr. Cookie, that was fifty grand. If you could only show my daughter how to act like that, why, I'll give you and Mr. Green a room here in my home as long as you want it for free. I would just go upstairs and rest without the boy's company. I guess they probably still to get from me. If it isn't enough, I'll send it back so you can have plenty. Oh, uh, Mrs. Holliday, you wouldn't think of imposing who you are. Now, this hand is really from Superfairy. I guess you better hit me. Uh-oh. What's it out? Well, Pop, I've got to go now. I'll see you later. All right, hi. Oh, Mrs. Holliday, I'm Thank you. 
could it? Honey, you need to go to swell place. Got me fine people. I'd like to take you to Chicago. And I mean tonight. Tell me what do you say. Johnny, I'd like to go, but that ain't what your mind thinks of your job. He doesn't like to go. Well, I'm not worried about her. What about your old man? Oh, Papa, you never have anything to say about what I do or where I go. This old lady, she's a hell here. Every time I go home, she starts imagining you. Where have you been? Where have you been doing? Where haven't you been home soon? I'm just getting tired of all of them. I don't blame you, dear. By the way, I was reading about a honey dude who's going to be in a beauty contest tonight. I feel I hope to win. Oh, she's a lot of things. Everybody's telling me she's pretty innocent, don't you? Oh, somebody, don't be like that. Why, she is. Oh, Charlie, let's talk about it. Okay, baby, let's talk about her. Yes, let's talk about it. Okay. I wonder what's keeping Sam. And Flora, too. She should have been here over an hour ago. Oh, Mother, you know how Father is. He's slow as molasses and Danny is. And Flora, she's probably out somewhere a window shopping. You know what Aunt Mary said about it. She has a champagne line and a beer pocketbook. Yes, I know. Flora and your father each gets something very proud. <laughs> you know, honey, the love of syndicate is easy, and I'm so glad. Yes, mother, but I thought you said the jealousy said it. Yes, I know. But you see, honey, no matter what you do, whether it's good or bad, the good Lord. And those two gentlemen are bad. They are big men. They're from Hollywood. They're actors. Or, uh, or, uh, Mexicans or something like that. They arrest me now. But you'll have a cat in the supper tonight. And I'm sure they'll be a great help to you. Mr. Whitney's going to show you how to act on the stage. Oh, Mother, that would be grand. I can hardly wait. Mother, is there anything else you want me to do? No, honey. Give up there and fix your menu. I'll make sure I'll help with the people there. All right. Hey, Moon. How can you do that on me? That's it. You heard me tell the lady we were from Hollywood. Go out here, brother. Well, Hollywood's a big place. Folks in there got to have a big name. But suppose you see somebody else, miss it. Well, in that case, you just sing old July Jones. And I'm bad news, huh? And maybe in jail, if you ever need me to have me be a police. Well, you just have a big name. Well, that's a bad picture. What's wrong about that? Well, nothing. I just wonder why you can go there. You can just call me say it's you. It's all I could think of at the time. I left the other man for you to figure out. Something you like. The only thing I like to see is Congo. 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 Congo G. That's a good name. <laughs> well, but I ain't never heard nobody on the stage name like that. Well, what about Butterbean's and Z? Sally is the number one. When she and Zyde Bear Thomas, what about them, huh? I forgot about them. After the supper, I reckon you all can get the key side. You going to see Gina tonight? Well, we're going to use some money. Did the lady say she had two key sides to use? Yeah, but what I'm talking about, what are we going to use some money to pay for key signs with? You got a quarter, ain't you? You had a quarter. How come we ain't got it now? I spent it, that's our time. You spent it for what? Magazine. You mean to tell me you spent your last money for a magazine? Do you know what kind of book this is, Mr. Jones? Uh, I mean, I know it ain't for you. I know that. No, but it's 
that look here, Whitney, you know one thing? In my younger days, I used to be one of the great on the public stage in America. Is that so? I went with some of the leading shows. I even now went with the Yellow Boys. I know that's a show that you never heard talk of. Because the Yellow Boys were there before the pack was. <laughs> I see, yeah. Uh-huh. I bet Pop said she was not. When I was 14 years old, I was with a little show one day. There's a cop bound for the Mason Beach Live. All oh, right, Sam. Go and show you the little dimension show. And you still taking the pills to get paid you off with. <laughs> so far, Mr. Green, you could have been doing all the talk. May I suggest that you get better? Thank you, lady. And if we able, we going to everything we're going to see. If there's any left in the pot, bring it now. Why don't you get the pot? May we bow out here. Gracious Lord, we thank thee this day for the food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our body. Please forgive our sins and accept our thanks for these blessings. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust. May I never be sick to see Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Jesus wept. Oh, yes. Thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. I thank the Lord for this meal and for mommy. Amen. Oh, just a minute. I think the host was good, please. Well, that's all right, Mr. Whitney. We can just fix this formality. And one of these days, you can 
hoa đó Vì là đi Chú quý trọng Chú ai Chú yêu Chú yêu And chú chú And only One Mark Oh, Mr. Green. Right away, they better have me right down me. Uh, Lou, how do I look? Like I bail a This is fun. Yes. Look, I finally decided to pick you up on that cargo ship. Oh, the folks there are all gone now. All right. I don't know what the phone goes in the phone. Okay, I'll only bring a small bag. All right. Well, okay. See you later. Bye now.
Paul waited so patiently. The decision of the are you ready, gentlemen? Third sign, number five. This millennial bill. <laughs> Second prize, second prize, Miss Juanita Spencer, number three. Step forward, please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the final winner, number one, Rage Tomorrow and Choice of Hollywood and Broadway, Miss Barbara Holiday, our number 22. by Red Calhoun and the boy. Turn him loose, kid.
quiet, folks. Don't go away. Red and the boys just take your breathing spell. They'll be back for a few more music stands. Say, Johnny, isn't it about time that we were leaving to go to the station? Oh, take it easy, please. Uh, the train don't leave until midnight. Why hurry? We still have a bit of time. Okay. What's the matter, babe? What do you think, Matt? He's your sister. Sure, she's my sister, but what are you trying to do? Oh, don't be like that, babe. If you have Jesus, look at him. I'd like to meet him. Well, there's plenty of time for that after we're married. But I wonder what she's doing here. Yeah, I'm worried. I never see that over no good out of my time. No telling what he's taking her to do. And Florida, she's gone too. I told her to stay home in. Every time my back is turned, she's easy to talk. She just ain't for no good. Now, 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 Miss Holiday. Take it easy. The girl is all right. Uh, but, uh, I suggest that, uh, uh, Mrs. Green here go out. I think I know where I might uh, locate them. Uh, uh, Mr. Green. Mr. Green. Uh, we'll find them. Just take it easy. We'll be right back and get them a good old little day. And kiss.